Welcome to the Iron Hand Tech channel. Today we will explore an extremely interesting and useful process, the journey of recycling old car tires into fuel. Whether you drive to work every day or take a road trip on your day off, after a long enough period of use, your tires will start to show signs of wear. Once your tires reach a tread depth of 1.6 meters, you need to replace them to ensure maximum safety on the road and to comply with the law. This replacement of car tires results in about 30 million tons of tires being replaced and potentially thrown away every year worldwide. But now there is a solution to this problem. Car tires will be recycled into oil at a special plant. Let's find out about this process today. At the service centers, old car tires are collected and then sent to recycling plants. In Korea, there are about 30 collectors who collect and supply scrap tires to recycling plants. The tires are back on the road, but with a completely different mission. At the factory, workers tear out the steel wires from tires. This is done by a special machine that takes 20 seconds to process each tire. Its iron fingers hook into the tire and pull with great force through a hydraulic system to extract the steel wires from the car tire. The steel used to make the steel cords in automobile tires are high tensile steels with good elasticity and high wear resistance. These steel cords will be compacted and can be further recycled for use in the construction industry and other industries. At the plant, the tires are cleaned to remove dirt, rocks, and other impurities. They are then sent to a crusher on a conveyor belt. Here, the crusher chews up the tires turning them into tiny pieces. The rubber pieces continue to be removed of impurities through the vibrating machine system before reaching the next processing stage. The tire pieces are transported to the pyrolysis area. The purpose of this is to decompose the chemical bonds in the rubber to create simpler products, mainly oil. The rubber is fed into a reactor where the temperature is 50 to 500 degrees Celsius and there is no oxygen. Here the large rubber molecules will be broken down into smaller molecules such as hydrocarbons. Then, these hydrocarbons will be converted into vapor and gas, including oil gas and some solids and oil as the main product in this stage. The finished oil then goes through a filtration and refining process to improve quality and remove harmful compounds. Recycled rubber oil products, FOR, are highly applicable, low cost, high calorific value, and more environmentally friendly. In most countries, recycling old tires is a complicated and expensive affair. In the United States, about 81% equivalent to 225 million tires, are recycled each year. While in Europe, the rate is even higher. Reaching 96%, however, there are still a lot of tires out there that are not recycled. Tire recycling is a great example of a circular economy. By reusing resources, we reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and create a more sustainable future. This is not only a solution to an environmental problem, but also a new economic opportunity. Thank you for following our tire recycling journey. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on other interesting videos. See you in the next videos.